Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I guess this is going to be Happy New Year because this is actually the first video I am recording for the year 2016 and um, hi. Some quick updates on my life so far is I have been going to the gym almost every day, sometimes twice a day, so I think that gives me an excuse to skip like two days in a row if I go twice a day. I've been eating pretty clean. Um, just now I cheated by eating a sandwich, but thanks for the sandwich, Ian. <laughs> I am so excited to go snowboarding next month with my best friend, and I will be third wheeling because she's also bringing her boyfriend, but I love them two together, so it's absolutely okay. And there's my snowboard gear in the back. Right there, my snowboard gear in the back. And I keep it there to remind myself that I have a couple more weeks to go and I can strive for this. Wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and I see a black figure right there and I'm like, oh my god! Isn't that scary? No, it's just me. But, yeah. So since the new year started, I'm absolutely loving this passion planner and this was gifted to me from my best friend so this passion planner is actually not your typical planner it actually has more than just the days and the month overview this actually is like a planner to help you reach your goal by the end of the year it asks you questions like what to focus on this week personal to-do list work to-do list and it's organized by top priority, priority, and then there's errands. And then every month there's like a reflection section. What is the most memorable part? Or like what is the biggest lesson you learned? And what or who are you especially grateful for this past month? But my favorite thing about this planner, there's this little section right here that says, good things that has happened. And I love reading this part when I'm feeling really sad or kind of feeling down. It's nice to look back at the good things that has happened. I take at least 10 minutes at the end of my day and I write what happened and I reflect on my day and it's been keeping me motivated. So I would say this is kind of like your personal cheerleader because you are your own cheerleader. You can't always rely on your parents or your best friends to cheer you on, you know? So I am absolutely loving eco bags. Some people might say echo bag if you're really fob, but this is actually from Japan and these are from a store called Three Coins, which means that it's only three dollars in Japan. In Doro it would be like two fifty maybe. So in like American dollars it would probably be like two fifty. I love these because they're very flat and they zip up and they're pretty sturdy and they open up really easily. This is what it looks like. This fits like one big watermelon in here. And I know that because I bought a watermelon last time and put it in this bag. And then this pocket, it turns into a pocket. Ta-da! So this is a great, 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 great investment for only two fifty. dollars In Hawaii, we have the law where uh, grocery stores don't give out plastic bags anymore. And it's either paper bags or you actually have to purchase a bag. And if you bring your own bag, they give you a, how much, five cents? They give you, a, they give you five cents back. They give you five cents back for each bag that you put it in. So in this case, I would get ten cents back. I am absolutely loving this ColourPop Cosmetics highlighter in Electric Slide. This has been a new addition to my everyday makeup routine. This is so cheap and so creamy. I cannot get enough of this texture when you touch it with your fingers. It's really pigmented. You literally just need to 
use your brush once like just brush it once and just brush it once and ta-da you're done a tip for using a ColourPop cosmetic highlighter is that you might want to close this really really tight to the point where you struggle a lot to open it the next time you open it because this is very creamy and moist and if you leave it a little bit open it's going to have it's gonna start drying and you don't want something good as this to be drying up the next time you use it also can i just say that this makes my makeup look a little more natural adding on additional makeup to my makeup makes it look more natural because it doesn't look as cakey i know you can see it it's on my cheekbones today and on my nose this is electric slot my next favorite is this fresh rose face mask from fresh this is meant to hydrate and tone your skin Mm. If you love rose scents, then you will absolutely love this. If not, I don't know what to say. Don't use it. I don't know. This is kind of embarrassing because there's absolutely like, almost nothing in here. There's maybe like two or three more uses left in here. So, so good. It's good for getting rid of redness in your skin which means it's good for acne i use it the day before i fly on the airplane for sure and then i also use it after i land because flying makes your skin really dry but and around the time of the month i break out like a week before so i use that i use this it has been so promising and you can find this at sephora and it is not cheap but it is a favorite and sometimes you have to splurge. So up next is this Dermablend Smooth Indulgence Concealer. It has really good coverage. It has SPF 20 and it is absolutely sweat proof, which is amazing because your foundation sometimes doesn't come through all the time and you sweat it off on a really hot day. But this is actually very sweat proof because it is a tattoo coverage concealer. This is the step two out of the three that there is, but this is so good for my under eye dark circles. I would say that it's pretty good for having a lot of coverage and it does not make me break out, but all skin type varies, so disclaimer. Thanks for watching my January favorites. Don't forget to like this video and also click subscribe to my channel for more monthly favorites. And you can watch my previous one right over here. And you can also watch my vlog videos that I absolutely love making. And there's my previous one right here. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Ian, I can't open this. Can you open it, please? No, right now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't like melon, but I like Japanese melon candy. Uh -huh. It doesn't taste like melon, like it tastes like green apples. This is green apple. <laughs>